All right, question one, what is the measure of angle A? Round your answer to one decimal place and enter degrees. So we are gonna enter degrees because we're talking about an angle. So I'm gonna make this bigger. We are trying to find this angle. So we started off like our other trig, we label all the sides. We have the hypotenuse and the opposite and the adjacent. So we need to figure out which sine, cosine, or tangent, which trig function to use. So for this example, since we have all three sides, you pick, doesn't matter. I'll just use sine because it's the first one. So if you only have two sides, that's what you would use, just like we we're solving for sides. So sine of some angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Let's fill in what we know. So sine of angle A, that's what we're trying to solve for, is 8 over 17. So the goal here is to get A by itself. So we have to remove sine. That is the goal. To remove it, we take the opposite. The opposite of sine is sine inverse, and we write it like this, sine negative 1. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, and those cancel out. So now we're just left with A, and then this goes in the calculator. It's under functions, right underneath, sine inverse of 8 over 17, and that's our angle, 28.1, I'm rounding to one decimal place, 28.1 degrees. So set up your trig function, then you're going to take the inverse to get the angle. 